In question 21, the work done by the force acting on a particle in the given displacement is, so the initial and the final position are given, the work done will be equal to F dot final position minus initial position. So this will be equal to I cap plus 2J cap plus 3K cap dot I cap minus J cap plus 2K cap minus I cap plus J cap plus K cap. So this will be equal to I cap plus 2J cap plus 3K cap dot minus 2J cap plus K cap and this will be equal to minus 4 plus 3 that is minus 1 joules meaning that the correct answer for this question is option number 2. Now moving on to the question number 22. In this question two bodies of mass m and 4m are attached with help of a massless string as shown. The body of mass m hanging from a string of length l is executing oscillations angular amplitude is theta while the other body that is mass 4m is at rest. So the minimum coefficient of friction between mass 4m and horizontal surface is something that we have to calculate. Just student, let the tension here be T. So here will be tension T. The speed of the mass small m at the lowermost point can be written as under root of 2 gh where h is the maximum height that will be L 1 minus cos theta. So the speed will be 2 gl 1 minus cos theta. The maximum tension will be equal to mv square by L plus mg that is gravity plus the required centripetal acceleration and this will be equal to 2 mgl 1 minus cos theta divided by L plus mg that is mg 3 minus 2 cos theta. The student the friction force on 4m should be able to overcome at least this much tension so for it to remain at static position. So we can write down that mu into 4mg should be greater than or equal to mg into 3 minus 2 cos theta. A further simplification gives us that mu should be greater than or equal to 3 minus 2 cos theta divided by 4 and hence for this question the correct answer turns out to be option number 4. Moving on to the question number 23. Question 23 says a small block of mass 15 kg is at rest on a rough inclined plane as shown in the figure. The block is tied to a horizontal string which has a tension of 15 newton. So tension is 15 newton. We have to find out the coefficient of friction between the surface of contacts. The students here, the block will experience a downward gravity mg, a normal force n, a frictional force mu n, while the tension is given as 50. Let this be the x direction and this be the y direction. The net force in the x direction will be equal to 0, which means that the frictional force mu n plus the component of tension that is 50 cos 45 will be equal to the downward component of the gravity that is 150 sin 45. From this mu n will be equal to 100 by root 2. Similarly, the net force in the y direction will be equal to 0, which means that n will be equal to 150 cos 45 plus 50 sin 45 that will be equal to 20 into 10 by root 2 that is 200 by root 2. On dividing these two equations, we can easily find out that mu will be equal to half. And hence for this question, the correct answer is option number 1. Moving on to the question number 24. In question 24, a system of three masses 3m, m and 2m are pushed by a force f as shown in the figure. All the surfaces are smooth except between b and c. The coefficient of friction between b and c is half. Minimum value of f to prevent the block b from downward slipping is. Let us solve this question. As the force f is applied, the acceleration of the system should be equal to f divided by the total mass that is 6m. The normal reaction between B and C, let the normal reaction be N. So N can be written as the mass of C that is 2M multiplied by the acceleration that will be equal to F by 3. Now dear student, the block will not slide if mu N is greater than or equal to mg, which means that mu F by 3 is greater than or equal to mg or F should be greater than or equal to 3mg by mu. Mu here is half, so this will be equal to greater than or equal to 6mg. And hence, for this question, the correct answer should be option number 
4. Now let us move to the question number 25. Question 25 says a U-shaped smooth wire lying in a horizontal plane has a semicircular bending between A and B as shown in the figure. A bead of mass M moving with uniform speed V through the wire enters a semicircular bend at A and leaves at B. The average force exerted by the bead on the part AB of the wire is. The student, the initial velocity is in this direction V and the final velocity is in this direction V. The time of crossing this particular bend has something that you have to calculate. So time will be equal to pi D by 2 that is half circumference divided by the speed V so that will be pi D by 2V. This one from the left hand side the change in momentum will be equal to 2 multiplied by MV as the direction is reversing. Now therefore the force will be equal to the change in momentum by time that is 2MV by pi D by 2V and this will be equal to 4MV square by pi D. And hence for this question this one the correct answer should be option number Now let us move to the question number 26. 